it has been a while since I've done a haul. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All hey everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Kitizen. Fun fact, this is my second time filming this haul and that's because I filmed this haul a long time ago when I first brought this stuff home from the consignment store that I you know, had been going to for like the past month and a half, two months, and then I deleted it. I needed space on my phone and I forgot that it was on there and I deleted it. So that's why I'm going through it again. Um, I also included some other stuff so it will kind of fill out, you know, the regular length of a haul video for me. Also, excuse my appearance, I like went biking earlier. So I've got a hat, there's a lot. I feel like McThrifty, if you have ever watched um, Mackenzie, I feel like sometimes she wears hats in her videos and she looks really cute in them. I look kind of strange but I don't really care. So we are gonna haul some stuff. And in case you don't know the story, I had been going to this consignment store. Also, sorry, my nose is like, I'm kind of, um, I have like allergies or something. But anyway, um, I had been going to this consignment store. They were letting me fill these big like black garbage bags, if you can see this, for $50 and you know, clothes, especially like little t-shirts and stuff like this, I can get more than 50 of those in a garbage bag. So my cost of goods for the most part at this consignment store has been under 90 cents. And I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got there. So if you are excited for this haul video, especially cause it's been a minute, then make sure that you hit that like button. Also, if you enjoy a good haul video and, and especially a lot of like bread and butter brands because that's a lot of what I find in my area, then definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you feel like you can relate and that's the kind of stuff you're picking up in your area as well. And if you are interested in anything, I will leave my email in the description down below so you can email me and let me know that you're interested in one of the items in this haul video. And I can offer it to you for a cheaper price than what I would price it for on platforms like Poshmark or eBay just because we don't have to deal with any of the platform fees. So I'm gonna get into it and and, oh, um, I have not like researched any of the prices or anything like that, but I will try to put down here what I believe comps are showing I should price it for. And generally speaking, I'll tell you like Poshmark prices just because sometimes like Poshmark and eBay and Mercari, they can be different from platform to platform. And actually, if you're interested in a video that I made on how to um, price your items, how to look up comps, all that kind of stuff, I will link that for you right here. But I will kind of show you what I believe I will be listing the item for on Poshmark if I don't say it out loud in this video. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'll show you is this Lucky Brand long sleeve t-shirt and it's been a while since I've looked at this stuff so for me too it's kind of like all new right now but it's like this really thin like burnout shirt and it's got this fun graphic it almost looks like a postage stamp um, but it's got this graphic of a peacock really thin really lightweight like I said it is lucky brand it's a size small um, I cannot imagine this will go for very much probably I'll list it around like $18 but I just thought it was really fun and you know like a fun layering piece sorry I'm like hitting the handles on this dresser. This is Altered State, which I, you know, I feel like people say it doesn't sell very well for them. I feel like certain pieces can sell really well. This is just like, it's not even really, well, okay, parts of it are embroidered, but it's also like, what is that called? Like needlepoint or something? It almost looks like needlepoint on there, but it says the beach. I probably should have listed this like a long time ago, but it says the beach is my happy place. This is true. Like this is facts for me. I love the beach. That is like my favorite place to be. This is a size small. It seems really big for a size small. So I feel like this is kind of like an oversized fit. Um, again, probably list that for like 18 to $20 because altered state just doesn't go for that much this is um this is just gap and it's a size small by the way did you guys hear that gap and kanye are doing a collaboration soon like what in the world but um this is just the modern tee it's got like a boat neck and it's just very classic i just really like the stripes for some reason i really like colorful striped shirts i don't know so i just thought it was very classic really classy with like a pair of jeans, just easy, throw it on and whatever. This is just a cable knit sweater from Ralph Lauren Sport. It's a size small, it is in this white color. Again, just very preppy, very classy. Um, I could see this with like a button up collared shirt underneath it, but 
just really cute for like a schoolgirl look. I could see this with like a skirt or I don't know, you could wear it a billion different ways. This is a little ridiculous. It's Banana Republic, it's a size large. Ridiculous just in that it's like very shiny and metallic-y. Um, it is three fourths sleeve, it is Banana Republic size large. This is perfect though for like the holidays. It's perfect for like Christmas and New Year's and that sort of thing. It is very wrinkled and I don't know, I don't know how to price this right now probably though for like $25 um this is just a pair of seersucker shorts again Ralph Lauren sport it's a size two and they are uh, oh no it's not shorts it's a skirt sorry so it's kind of like a mini skirt but um it's got that really lightweight seersucker material which I don't know why I'm such a sucker for seersucker sucker but um it's just again very preppy very like Americana, very summery. So um, I just thought I would pick that up. Probably list it for like $25 again. Um, this is by the brand Paper Moon. Paper Moon, I believe, is a Stitch Fix brand. And it is a short sleeve, kind of like flowy, high, low shirt. I don't know. I It just, it's like a good layering piece, I think. It's like a good oversized shirt. It's good with like a pair of leggings or something like that. I'm not seeing a size on it. Let me see. Sometimes with these kinds of brands, the size is um, only on the inside tag. Yeah, it's a size medium. So I just thought it was like a fun oversized shirt. Probably list that for like 18 to $20. I don't think it's really worth that much, but it's just a good basic piece. This is new with tags. It is Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas size medium. I know some people are like obsessed with this movie. I don't get the hype. I don't think I really get Tim Burton's vibe. Like it's just not really my thing. It was only $24 at Kohl's. That's the, you know, tag. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really get his vibe. I don't really enjoy his movies. Sorry if you are like a diehard Tim Burton fan, but again, with like the burnout material, super lightweight, pretty much like sheer, um, probably just list it for like 18 because it was $24 to begin with. This is a pair of American Eagle jeggings and they are the super low rise jegging, but you know, some people like that low rise. It's a size two regular. It's in this really um, light denim wash and it is very severely distressed, which is why I got it. Um, I'll probably price these at like $30 and see how that goes, especially for like back to school. I do feel like the super heavily distressed look is not really like super in right now, but still, I just, I got it. It was under $2, under a dollar actually. Okay, this is J. Crew Factory and you know that it's factory because it's got the two diamonds underneath. It's a size zero. I believe this is linen. Let's see. It feels like linen. It is 60% linen, 40% cotton. It's got this really pretty like bright blue embroidery on the front, just like a really beautiful floral print. And it's just like a shell, like a uh, sleeveless top. And yeah, perfect for the summer. It is lined as well. So that's really nice because a lot of times white is just really hard to wear because it's pretty much see-through and you know, most people are not about that see-through life. This is a pair of men's pants. They are Banana Republic. They're the Fulton Skinny, and they're in a size 40 by 36, which is one of the reasons I got it. Um, I feel like I have a lot of like really small men's size pants in my um, Poshmark closet and eBay store, but I feel like the men's stuff sells the men's stuff. The bigger stuff sells faster. And so I got these. I'll probably price these at like $30 to $35. These are great for like the office, for um, people who have like meetings to go to and stuff. Although, you know, a lot of people are working virtually right now. So they may not be in as high of a demand. They're also good for like dates and you know, family pictures, that sort of thing. This is just Old Navy. I don't typically pick up Old Navy. I just thought this was really darling. So it's like this yellow dress and it's got this really delicate floral print to it. And it's just this like pretty dress. I don't know, it's like tiered and part of me wants to wear it, but I don't have anywhere to wear it to. And it's got like a little keyhole in the back. I'll probably honestly only list that for like 15 to $20, but I just thought it was really cute. Okay, this is linen, I believe. This is blue and gray, and it is 100% linen, and it's just this, like, light orange, uh, like, swing tank. Just really flowy, 
really perfect for the summer. I need to get this listed ASAP because the summer, believe it or not, is coming to an end very soon here. And yeah, probably list this for like $18, $20. I do love selling linen. This is a pair of men's American Eagle slim straight pants in a size 34 by 30. These are like an interesting color because, okay, they're what, like, like a light rust color, <laughs> but then also like the wash is interesting. I don't know. So they're not like, I don't think this the most like desirable color or like whatever in the world, but I just got them because they were cheap and I feel like, you know, they will sell eventually. I'll probably get anywhere from like 20 to $25 for them. Um, yeah. So there's those. This is Talbot's petite size 12 P. I do find a lot of Talbot's. Um, it's like definitely bread and butter for me. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like it will sell. It's perfect for the workplace. It's like a great layering piece. It is, it does button up like all the way. It's kind of hard to see with the print. And I like the print. I thought it was fun. I also like the fact that it was in, you know, a bigger size, although it is a petite. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably list it for like $20. I would send it into thread up. I just feel like it wouldn't really give me that much of a payout. It wouldn't really be worth it. This is Ralph Lauren. It is the blue label and it is slim fit. It's a size six, which makes it women's. I thought it was a men's piece. Oh yeah, it is a women's shirt. So it's just a button down shirt and you know that it's buttoned down because it's got the buttons on the tips of the collar there. And it's in this like really pretty, almost like turquoisey color. I just thought it was a really nice shirt and it was probably pretty expensive when you know it was being sold retail but i probably will only get like 25 if i'm lucky for it so i'll probably list it at like 25. this is another it feels like linen again this is ann taylor it's a size 12. i wanted to send this into thread up but i think the reason i didn't is because it kind of looks like there's yellowing around the collar i'll show you what i mean here in a second i want to see though if this is linen let's see this is a hundred percent linen it is lined and this is what it looks like there, there we go so i think it's really cute and it, again it's like perfect for the summer it's a perfect layering piece it's got that zipper on the back it's so weird like the zipper is so long on the back i don't know why they didn't just have it go all the way down but Anyway, if you look really carefully, I don't know if you can tell, but it just almost looks like there's a little bit of yellowing on the front there, or not even yellowing. You know what it looks like is it looks like, it looks like makeup, like it looks like someone's foundation. So I bet I could even get it off and then maybe it would be worth sending into something like Thread Up. I don't know, we'll see. I might just try listing it on my own too. This is a pair of Columbia shorts. They are just great for like being outside, hiking, all that kind of stuff. They're in a size eight. They're in a great neutral khaki color. Probably list those for like 25 or 20. Um, this is a zip up hoodie, Ralph Lauren Sport. I don't really find a lot of Ralph Lauren Sport, nor do I pick up a lot of it, but I don't know, I just got a lot. This I feel like, um, yeah, it is a full zip. It's got the kangaroo pocket. I feel like this would be really fun to tie dye because it's got, you know, that like preppy look to it. So I feel like the juxtaposition of something so like preppy with like the polo and then like tie dyeing it, I don't know. And it is 93% cotton, 7% acrylic. But yeah, I thought that would be interesting. I'm not gonna do it because I'm not like a professional tie dyer, but it's also just great by itself. Like it's um, a very neutral color and it would be great for the fall just to throw on over like a t-shirt or something. So there's that. Probably again, list it for like 25. I feel like most of the stuff here is like in that $25 range. This is Ava and Viv. Um, I don't believe I've ever picked this up before. And I think that this is the plus size brand that is carried at Target. And so, sorry, there's just like little fuzz balls on the inside here that's like grossing me out, but they're literally just fuzz balls. Anyway, um, yeah, sold at Target, I think. And some people have a lot of luck with it. So I thought I would just pick it up. It is really cute. It's like this, it looks like a basic white shirt on the front with a crew neck, but then on the back, it's got this interesting kind of sheer look to it and it's got a tie to just kind of give more shape. I think I said this already, but it is a size 2X. I have no idea how to price that because I've never sold Ava and Viv, but I just thought I'd give it a shot at the price point that I was able to pick it up for because, you know, all this stuff I was able to get for so cheap. 
This is J. Crew as well. This is a size two. And I believe these are linen. So they were just like white linen pants with cargo pockets. Um, and they are definitely cropped or like ankle pants. I don't think I would be gutsy enough to wear these. <laughs> I feel like white pants are so hard because they're just so see-through. So I don't know, someone with a lot of guts will have to get these and wear them. I think they'll be really cute. They're 55% linen, 45% cotton. I think they're really cute, really classy, but man, I also would just be so scared that like the second I step outside in them, I would spill something because that's typically what I do. This was like the J. Crew section here. Okay, here's another J. Crew. This is um, J. Crew Factory. It's made of 100% lamb's wool and it's just like this oatmeal color very classy i was kind of confused as to whether it was a women's or men's piece but i believe this is a large women's height actually i don't know maybe i think it could be a men's piece too what i will do though is i will look up the style number and that will be able to tell me if it's a men's or women's i think you know either gender could wear it maybe it is more of a men's piece i don't know okay um this is another like sweater this is more of like a mock neck situation it is lauren ralph lauren size small and it's just like white but it's got these metallic silver stripes and it's got these like silver buttons going up one of the shoulders it's not like what i wear in the winter or fall but some people do. Um, this I will probably list for 25. I also, honestly, I feel like this is such a thread up thing. I think I'm gonna send this into thread up because yeah, that makes more sense. And I will go through this stuff and if there's stuff that just would do better on thread up, I'll probably do that. This is J. Crew again. Like I said, we're kind of like in the J. Crew section. Size two, just this really interesting sleeveless top. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, not much else to say about it. Um, probably, honestly, I will send this into thread up as well. White is just hard because it's like, is there any stains? Like, it's just so easy to miss stuff. There is one like loose thread here. I just need to cut it. I also think this like almost netting right here is really interesting and like not placed well because I feel like if you're wearing this, you're going to see the bra strap right there. So I don't know, but whoever gets it just has to figure it out if i were to list it probably list it for like again 18 25 something like that next we have yet another you guessed it j crew this one is kind of rough on the inside i did not see this earlier there is kind of a lot of yellowing i don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this light but there is some yellowing on the inside um so someone definitely wore this and like sweat a little bit but Maybe I can get it out. It does have this sweet little Peter Pan collar and then it has like this eyelet detail on the front that I really like. I think this would be really sweet to wear to work with like a pencil skirt, you know, you could tuck it in. Um, but it's got that yellowing that we need to figure out. It's got the exposed zipper on the back. Um, if I can get the yellowing out, maybe again, like list it for $25. This is Skies are blue. This is a size small. Skies are blue is carried in stitch fix boxes and you can buy it other places too. But it's got this really pretty, again, like this is not really embroidered. Okay, like if you look here, this is not really embroidery. It's like, it's really cool stitching. I don't know how to explain it. But then I think down here, this is more of like in the yellow, the typical embroidery that we're used to. But this is really different. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know what you would call that. Um, so it's just, again, like a sleeveless top. I would probably list this for like 18, but maybe that's not the best. I don't know. This is J. Crew. F J. Crew. I think it's older J. Crew. It's um, an extra small. I just thought it was a good layering piece, really lightweight, kind of like this bright yellow against this like tan and white. Um, I feel like this is something that I would have worn um, when I had to dress up for work, but like where I work right now, you don't have to dress up. People, there are like teachers who wear like sweatpants to work and I'm like, really? That's kind of pushing it. But I wear like just dress jeans and like, it's it's kind of wild. Um, this is just a Madewell top. It's very plain. It's got the split neck. 
it is an extra small the sleeves are like a little bit longer i don't know it's not very substantial to be honest with you i might just send this into thread up too because i feel like madewell does really well even if it is a little bit more basic but we'll see i'll just keep it in that pile for now okay so if you noticed all of the stuff that i just showed you was very like neutral colored it was like very white or cream and that's because this is all stuff that i am going to photograph against my blue wall in my dining room i've definitely talked about that before in some videos about just how like i have a hard time you know photographing something like this against a white wall and so this stuff gets photographed somewhere else and now we're going to go into some clothes that are not necessarily in the same colorway okay so we'll start with this vest from orvis orvis is like an outdoor brand not like the most exciting thing but this is kind of like quilted it is a full zip um it's got like you know these little things here so you can cinch in at the waist if you want I don't know how to price this. I, you know, this is definitely more of a mature brand. Part of me wants to try sending it into ThreadUp, but I may also just list it and see what happens. This is Disney Cruise Line. Oh my gosh, this is really soft though. It's a size extra, oh my, like really? What is this made out of? 60% cotton, 40% polyester. Why are you so soft though? Okay, I, who is this? Han Solo, is that his name? Captain of the ship. Oh, I get it because of the cruise line. Um, Star Wars, that's all I know. I've never seen a Star Actually, no, that's a lie. One of my band classes when I taught at this private school, they tried to get me to watch a Star Wars movie. I, I could not. It was like an older one. I think maybe that's why. Star Wars is not really my cup of tea, but it's just this um, blue graphic shirt with, I right? Is that Han? So I, I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. I don't know who that is. Um, another t-shirt. This is a size small and the brand is Lauren James. I I think I've sold stuff from Lauren James before. It's just like a pocket tee long sleeve. And then the back has this really nice um, graphic. It's got like this big flower and it says, chin up buttercup, Lauren James Co. <laughs> um, I think it's like a preppy brand, very like girly and feminine, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, you can let me know in the comments below. I'll probably list this for like, 18 to 20. Um, same thing with this Disney Cruise Line shirt, probably 18 to $20. This is a pair of Big Star jeans. It's um, the Maddie Mid-Rise Fit. I, this is only maybe like my second time picking up Big Star. Big Star is very similar to like BKE or Miss Me. It's kind of in that same realm. This is a size 33R, which I liked because it is bigger of a size. And um, yeah, just, you know, nice pair of bootcut jeans. This is the back. Um, the pockets are not like quite as blinged out as what you would see on like Miss Me jeans, but there is a little something something on the back there. These I will probably price a little bit higher, maybe price them at like $40. This is just a North Face. Um, what is this called? Like the Denali or something? That always makes me think of El Ducho. This is a size medium, it is a women's, and it's like that fleecy material, and then you've got, you know, this part on the chest. These were like so popular, do you remember? These were like what the cool kids wore in, I don't know, like the 2000s, in the 90s? I don't even remember when it was, but they are kind of like a staple piece, and um, a lot of times this is the kind of stuff that you can zip into the shells like the north face shells i don't know if this one you could or not but yeah so a lot of times these are what you see on the inside of like the bigger north face jackets this is a pair of nike um they're a size medium tall they're just like yoga pants kind of yeah just kind of wide leg i feel like the fact that they are for a taller silhouette um will help I don't really know how to price these, probably just at like 18 to $20, nothing like super crazy. And I do think they're a little bit older. Um, and then North Face, I don't remember if I said, I think I could probably get like 35, 30 to $35 for it. So I might list it around like 40. This is New Tag Cabby, and you can tell cause it's like the square label and they're all, um, all the letters are lowercase. And it's like this green blazer jacket. 
I guess you could call it a jacket. You could really call it anything. Honestly, I think I'm going to send this into thread up. This feels like a thread up piece to me. So I will throw that in my thread up pile. If I didn't throw it in my thread up pile, I don't know, Cabby, it's like so all over the place because it does have a really loyal following. But then I also feel like there's a ton of people who don't really care about the brand, but they, you know, see it in like your Poshmark closet or something and they see it's cute and they want to offer you like $15. So I don't know. I don't know how to price that. If I were to price it, I'd probably price it around like the $40 to $50 range. This is New Balance. This is a size small. And again, just kind of like lounge pants. You know what I'm saying? Like yoga pant type things, $18, $20, something like that. Let's see. I, if I remember correctly, there's gonna be a lot of just like active wear pants in this section. Um, another pair of Nikes. These are in like a gray, again, just kind of a wide leg yoga pant or like loungewear pant. Um, I bet these would be so comfortable. I don't know if you can hear, there's like vacuuming happening downstairs. There's a lot going on in the house right now. This is a pair of pull-on pants by Karen Kane. They are a size large. I think I have sold Karen Kane once before. And to be honest, this may also be thread up because it's, you know, a little bit more of a mature brand. I'm going to like see what comps are like on Poshmark and eBay and stuff, but um, I don't know. And I'll try to also look at thread up and see. I'll let you know down here what I decide to do. I'm going to keep them in my Poshmark pile for now. Let's see. Some more active wear pants. These are just under armor. They're a size small. They are fitted. And these look to also be, yeah, just like yoga pants. Probably list these for like $20. Under Armour has kind of made a comeback, I feel like, um, you know, pretty recently. These are Talbots. I'll probably send them into Thread Up. I think I didn't yet because I just love the print. They are um, the Heritage Pant. They're in a size four. They have a side zip. They are high waisted, it looks like. I, and I'm pretty sure they're made of a wool blend. Yep, 40% wool. So, so many reasons to send them into Thread Up, right? But I just love them. Again, if I had to like dress up for work, like I love wearing this kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. So if I were to list them, I'd probably list them for like $30, but I'd probably get like $15, $20 offers all day. So we'll see. I think I will go ahead and throw them in my thread up pile though, because that just seems like the right thing to do with those. Okay, this is just Exhilaration and it's a sleepwear shirt. Um, Exhilaration is a brand sold at Target, but I just thought, you know, the Boss Babe on the shoulders was really cute. It's really like comfy. It's got like that thermal look, but again, just like perfect to sleep in, just perfect to lounge around in. Just a reminder that you are a Boss Babe. Size small, probably listed for like $15. This is a dress by Gap. It's a size large. I don't know, Gap is so just like classy to me and um, I can sell it pretty consistently and for like pretty decent money. So I think I can definitely get at least $20 for this and it has like a tweed look to it, long sleeve, perfect for the winter. I love the exposed zippers or like the zippered pockets, but just like that look right there. I think it's really classy. I would definitely wear it if it were my size. There's that. What else? This is by Riot Society. It's a size medium. It looks like the kind of stuff that you get at um, like Pacific Sunwear. It says California Republic. It's got a bear with sunglasses and there's like palm trees and stuff in the background and like a palm tree print all throughout. So I'm sure someone will love that. And I don't know how to price it because I don't really know that much about the brand, but I will try to give you more information right here. This is Lulu's, it's a size medium. I have terrible luck with Lulu's. I just thought I would give it a try. It is a shirt and you can tie it at the neck. I do like this like um, ruffle detail here, but yeah, just like a nice blouse. Not sure how to price it, probably for like $20 or something like that. Okay, we're getting into my camo section. Like some of it is just like camo print and then some of it is like, let's go hunting. So get ready, I warned you. This is Old Navy again, new with tags. That's the only reason I got it. But man, some people really like their camo and these I believe are camo joggers. So I thought that these would do pretty well. Um, I'll probably list them for like 25 and expect to get like 18 to $20 for these. 
Um, and they're kind of like, what material are they? They have kind of like that nylon-y feel. Let's see. Okay, well, they're 98% cotton and 2% spandex, so no nylon. But they feel like, do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't know what that's called. Okay, here's some more. Oh, this is also new with tag. So this is... Um, this was originally $59.50. It's a size 40 by 30. And this is Eddie Bauer. So this is a pair of much more like heavy duty camo print cargo pants from Eddie Bauer. And yeah, like these are heavy duty. They have like this random like button feature on the bottom. So if you wanted to kind of taper the pants at the bottom, you could interesting and then they do have a drawstring um at the waist and they're much heavier than the old navy pair that i just showed you and these have like actual it looks like actual trees in the print like do you see that it's actually kind of pretty but also it's camo so i don't know if camo can really be pretty okay let's just stay with our camo stuff so this i don't think is called camo isn't this called like mossy oak or something this is by the brand real Tr no i lied okay this is by cabela's and it is it was made in the usa what size are you though size 44 regular so this is um bigger of a size and this is like you are going hunting tomorrow like you yeah this is what you wear this is what you wear when you're going hunting they're like lined like you could be outside when it's really cold and you will stay nice and toasty but these are intense like these are not the fake you know whatchamacallit old navy camo like let me hide out in gym class or something like this is like i'm in the woods i don't want the bears to see me i don't want the deer to see me this is this is let's go hunting yeah okay um, I think there's another camo thing in there or like mossy oak, but, um, we'll get there when we get there. What are, what are you? What's, what? oh, okay. This is Entro, which is like a boutique brand. I don't usually have a lot of luck with it. So I just keep getting it. Um, I thought this was really cute though. It's this open knit, like purple, I look, like I love this sleeve. I love it. I love this kind of like slouchy, just oversized. It's not rag. It's like a bat sleeve. That's what that is. Um, and then it's got this tie in the front. So it's kind of like a cardigan. It's just like a sweater, like a layering sweater. So I love that. I It doesn't have a size. Again, Entro, these kinds of brands, a lot of times the size is on the inside tag. But where is the inside tag? I don't know. I think because it's so oversized, I think it could really just about fit anyone. But yeah, I, I don't know. We'll just call that a mystery. This is an open front cardigan. It's by, okay, you tell me. Tell me in the comments below what you think that is. I, I, I know that that says farms. I don't know what this says. Gold! Gold! Gold. Glamour Farms. I got it. I got it. Okay. So Glamour Farms, it's a size small and it has like this Aztec Southwest inspired print. Um, yeah, I, I just thought it was fun. It was cute. Open front. Like I said, is there fringe? Yes, there's, there is some fringe. And then on the back, there's a nice big bold graphic. So I don't know anything about that brand. It looks like another boutique-y type brand. So probably list it for like $30. Let's see what happens. Here is some more of our camo. This is Columbia. This is a size 40. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. We're kind of on the struggle bus here. <laughs> I just, my allergies are like going crazy. And then my son is like crying downstairs. He's causing some sort of ruckus with movie night. I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna try to barrel through. Um, I was showing you these pants. I'm just gonna start over again with these pants. And we're almost done with this second like bag and then we have one more bag and we're done so we're gonna keep barreling through but i was on these wonderful columbia again i think this is mossy oak i don't know the names of the different kinds of camo but 
you can see like leaves, you can see like branches. I do feel like if someone was wearing this covered in head to toe and they were laying down in a forest, like I wouldn't be able to see them. Like I, I can barely even make out the fact that this is a cargo pocket right here. Like, did you know that? It camouflaged into itself, like it's crazy. So yeah, I mean, I feel like this would be really effective. I don't actually know very much about um, hunting or any, you know, of the reasons why you would wear these kinds of prints. I have never gone hunting. I don't plan on going hunting, but I just know that these are really intense looking. And yeah, um, these do not have that little like snap feature at the bottom, but they do have where you can, look at that. You can like pull the pants in. So I feel like for hunting, it's very important to like be able to cinch in at the ankle that's very interesting to me so maybe you can like tuck your pants into your boots or something is that why if you're a hunter if you know about such things please let me know if you're a hunting reseller let it let the people know okay um this pile is going so high okay this is a very suede fringy situation okay it's a vest it just has the letter g i think that this is the brand ginger i have something else um, hanging that needs to be photographed and it has the same G, but there it actually says ginger, but it's pretty interesting. It's like very fringy. Like I said, it's got these laser cut like paisley details, if you can see that. And like I said, it feels like suede or like they want you to think that it's suede. So let's see if there's a tag. There is not. I highly doubt that it's real suede, but it feels really good. So it's just very interesting. Again, very fringy, very like boho, very just, you know, cool layering piece. Um, okay, what is this? This is cabby. It's a size 16. It does have shoulder pads in case you were wondering. It is a blazer in like this very interesting print. It's almost, well, no, it is a houndstooth. It's, it's very like retro feeling. Um, I will send this to thread up. I don't know. I think it would be a hard sell on my end. It also has these really big pockets, if you can see that, but that, that seems like I should just get it off my hands. This is a pair of pants by the brand Stoosh. I think that's what it says. It looks like it's ASOS, if I'm being honest with you. Like even the way that the brand looks, like the tag looks, these are a size small, but yeah, it's um, just kind of like these track pant looking things. So they're black, but they have this like yellow and white stripe, kind of like that tuxedo stripe, but they just kind of look like leggings or track pants, something like that. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought they were interesting. For some reason, I thought they were new with tags, but I don't think that they are. I don't know how to price these. I don't know how to price any of the camo stuff, and I don't know how to price this thing. I probably will honestly price this vest thing at like 25. <laughs> That's like my go-to number these days. And then last one, at least in this bag, and then like I said, we have one more bag. Um, Just like a Nike running, this is Nike Fit Dry. I think this is really old, but it's like an olive green uh, you know, quarter zip, just running top. Yeah. I, if it were my size, I would keep it. I probably will only make like 10, $15 off of this. I probably will list it for like 18 to 20 and maybe it's more of a brown. It's either like a really dark olive green or brown, but yeah, not expecting to make a killing off of this, but just, you know, one of those like basic pieces that people can bundle into their bundles. And it's stuff that, you know, a lot of people need because you know, a lot of people just go out for like walks or running or something like that. Okay, here we go. We are in our final bag. Ooh, I'm gonna try to speed through this because there's just a lot going on. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is a really interesting piece by Frank Lyman Design. It is a size eight. This is what the tag looks like. I think I did run some comps when I saw this at the consignment store, but I don't remember what they are. I will put some information down here. It's this beautiful dress. This is the neck. So it's got kind of like this turtleneck, cowl neck thing. It's short sleeve. It's very, it's so hard to show you what this actually looks like, but it's like very ruched on the side. And it's got kind of this, oh, I'm not tall enough. It's got this kind of like tail. Do you see that? I don't know. Like it's, 
it's very formal. It's you wear it to like a ball or something like that. And I can't really do it justice. So this is the back. So you can see like even more ruching in the back. And then again, this like little tail design. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, sorry, I keep hitting this thing. Um, and there's like a hidden zipper on the inside. I need to do more research, obviously, but I just thought it was gorgeous. So I just wanted to give it a shot because I didn't want to leave it behind. Okay, this is a pair of kind of beat up jeans. Like you can see there's some drag wear or hem wear there, but um, this is by, I don't even know how to say this. It's my first time finding this brand, DL 1961. I know this used to be like a really popular brand. It's a little bit bigger in size. It's a size 31, which is another reason why I got it. Um, I think, you know, people sell this for like 30 to $40 and that's what they look like. They, I wonder if they were hemmed actually, you know what? I think they were, they just have that look. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm going to have to, if you can see, so I will have to like provide measurements and I'll have to make sure to note that, that I don't think that this was the original length. Um, which, you know, some people might appreciate because there are a lot of shorties like me out in the world, but I think they're just like a boot cut. But like I said, I do think that they have been hemmed by the previous owner. So that might drop the price down um, a little bit. This is a, I just thought this was so cute. It's Zara Boys and it's a size 13, 14. And it's just this like waffle knit Henley shirt, but it's short sleeve. It's got a pocket on the front. And I just thought that was really cute. Um, this I will, you know, list on Kittizen as well as all the other platforms. And I all probably only make like $10 off of it. But I love Zara kids stuff. This I think is another kids thing. Um, it's the Hawaiian original High Low Hatties. Um, you know, you like get this in Hawaii. Look at how cute. This makes me want to go to Hawaii so bad. But this is like a little boy shirt. Or I guess you could have a little girl wear it too. Made in Hawaii. Oh, I just, this makes me kind of sad actually, because I want to go to Hawaii so bad. And that I will probably list for like, yeah, $15, $20. This is Lou and Gray. I, I feel like ever since I started picking up Lou and Gray at this consignment store, now I can't stop. I just, I love it. Like it's so comfy. This is like the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Like it's so soft. Um, just a V-neck and just very casual, like loungewear. Um, it would be perfect to like wear at home, but also you could wear it out while you're running errands and stuff like that. It has pockets, like what in the world? What is, what is this made out of? It's so soft. It is rayon. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Rayon and spandex, but it just, oh, it's so soft. It's so good. So there's that probably listed for like $20. I don't know what this is. It's some sort of like shawl. Okay, it's the limited, but it's like the limited outlet. Um, it's a size small. I just got it because, oh, look at that. Okay, that's nice. It's got this fringe along the side. It is, it's like a cape or like a shawl. Um, your arm just goes in there. It is closed up though. So at least there is some shape to it. You're not just like guessing like, does my hand go here? Does my arm go here? Like it tells you exactly where everything goes. Um, but yeah, I thought that was nice. Probably list that for like 25. Um, these, I wish these were in my size. They're just loft and I think they're like a size six. Yeah. 28 or six. They are the legging, but they're in this nice, like, you know, army green color. Probably list these for 25. They're really soft too. Like, oh my goodness. So soft. This is Neiman Marcus and sometimes Neiman Marcus, um, they just kind of do their own thing. What, what are you? Okay, it's like a long sleeve dress and it's got this very formal looking front with like the, I don't even know what you call that, but it, like that, um, like a tuxedo, geez, whatever, but like the big ruffles on the front and the collar and it goes all the way down. And it's interesting because it's, not a very long dress like it's almost like a little bit above the knee so i don't know okay you guys it's not a dress it's like a jacket <laughs> it opens completely and there's like a hook and eye 
thing right there. So it's actually just like this really, and there's two of them. There's two, three, there's three fascinating, four, gosh, okay. This is like the worst haul ever, I'm so sorry, okay. But there are like four hook and eye closure things. So you wear this over an outfit, okay. That's making a lot more sense now. So it's like a jacket. Should I send this into thread up? Let me know what you would do. I kind of feel like this is a thread up sort of piece. We'll put it in the thread up pile for now. This is, I believe, Chico's. I don't know why I have it in my possession still. I'm gonna send it to thread up, but it's like this very paisley, very sheer button up, right? Yeah, it buttons up. Um, I Yeah, I'm gonna send it in, but it's a size one. Just thought you'd like to see that, I guess. This place had so much Chico's, it wasn't even funny. This, I believe, is something Disney. I think it's Mickey. Yep. It's like a uh, rhinestone Mickey, if you can see all of that. And it's on this, like, scoop neck, extra small, kind of oversized shirt. It's got, you know, again, like, kind of the raglan sleeve or like kind of bat wing but um just like the bigger sleeves just great for lounging around and i thought that was really cute probably less set for like 25. this was my first time finding this brand and i was kind of excited because i feel like people have said good things about it i can't find okay wait let me find the Okay, guys, I've been looking for like the past three solid minutes to find the name of this brand and I can't find it anywhere. It has something to do with Bunny, I'm pretty sure. And I will figure it out and put it right here, but why can't I figure it out right now? <laughs> and why can't I find the brand label? So um, this is the inside tag. So it's a size large. It'll come to me. It has something to do with Bunny, but it's this interesting workout top um it's long sleeve and it ties in the front and then there's like this mesh panel on the back and it's driving me crazy that i can't remember what it's called but i will let you know i don't know what comps are for this i don't even know why i know that that is that brand because they must have seen it on here somewhere at one point or another but whatever okay this is chico's travelers size one I could send this into Thread Up. I think I might just try to sell it myself. I do have pretty good luck with Chico's Travelers, especially like the pull-on pants. So it's just this really interesting, like, it almost looks like those tiles, you know, like the Spanish, um, like the Mediterranean tile uh, that people put like in their homes sometimes, like in their kitchens for like their backsplashes and stuff. So I just thought that was really nice and classy. Um, yeah, the Chico's Travelers, people um, who know about it and who travel a lot, um, you know, they're pretty loyal to this, you know, part of the Chico's brand. And I understand why, like, you know, these have been crumpled up in this bag for God knows how long and they have not a single wrinkle on them. So I get it. I get the hype. Okay, next up, this is not, you know, anything that special. It's just intimately free people, which is free people's like, just not lingerie, but more like, tanks and you know things are strappy it's kind of like what you wear to sleep like that sort of thing so this is just um a really pretty kind of flowy um tank and it has this panel like the sheer panel and then it has it on the back as well it's racer back and along you know the middle section here it's got more of like kind of that mesh um this is not worth that much probably like 15 dollars on that and that was a size small this is it. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. So in my last what sold video, I shared this brand. The brand is American Giant. This is a size four. And I think that this is the same exact pair of pants that I sold for $55 in my last um, what sold video. I think that these are the cigarette pants and they retail for like $120. American Giant is um, like a newer brand on the scene. They are not sold in stores or anything like that. They're just sold on their website. Um, they're really well known for their hoodies, but their pants do really well too. Like really, like I think anything by them right now, it's just a popular brand. And um, when I listed my other pair, like right away, they got a ton of likes. Um, people were just so excited about them. So I might actually even just 
relist my last one instead of like going through the process of like taking pictures and everything again since i already have them listed and these are just the identical pants um i just have to check the size this is columbia it is this jacket in like really great condition okay this hood was put on backwards so this should be on the inside but it like the hood snaps on and off if you can see that so that's why it looks like that but it's just this really nice jacket in like this bright purple color um i feel like it's down let me see it's 100 percent polyester okay yeah it is down there's down and feathers so there's 60 percent duck down 40 percent feather i don't know how to price this um but i feel like i could price it decently high just because you know it is made of down which is great what are you oh okay this is cashmere i don't really know the brand the brand is olivia and grace and it's a size large but it is 100 percent cashmere it is black and like this pink colorway honestly i think i'm going to send this into thread up because it's cashmere and i well okay i don't know i, I i'm going to put it in my thread up pile but i feel like it'll be kind of hard for me to move it and I feel like Thread Up really likes cashmere. So let me know what you guys would have done with that. But I don't know that I'm going to hold on to it. This is some more camo. Oh, this is, you guys, this is intense. This is Scent Blocker. So it's a size small youth. I feel like that means it like somehow has the power to get rid of your smell so that animals can't smell you. That's crazy. Again, with like the cinching at the ankle this is new with tags it retailed for $30 so not that much but silver antimicrobial so interesting so I would probably list this for like $20 but yeah for hunting these are very lightweight though compared to some of the other stuff but like can't you see like a father-son duo getting <laughs> getting their hunting gear from me this is Columbia. It is a size extra small. It is purple. I feel like it belonged to this person. Um, it's just a vest. Probably get like $20 for that. This is a jacket. Okay, so this is the limited, but it's like the Scandal collection. It's a size small. So I believe that they, oh, okay. It's like a, ooh, it's a cape. And this is the armhole. And so this is modeled after or like designed with the show Scandal in mind. And I, I've never seen an episode. I think her name is Olivia Pope. Am I making that up? I don't know. But um, it's, you know, inspired by like Carrie Washington's wardrobe in the show. This is gorgeous, though. I have no idea how to price it. I don't know if this was like a huge deal when it came out. If so, then I will obviously price higher. But this is really, really, really pretty. I like that. We're getting to the end, guys. Thank God my nose is, again, it's just, it's dying. This is Torrid size three. Um, it is basically just like this V-neck sweater. And it has kind of this layered look to it. It's got this like chiffon -y material on the bottom. The back is what I really like, though. It's got like this lace-up back detail. Um, and then it opens up to show that like sheer fabric so I thought that was really pretty I'll probably list that at like $30 and it'll price all on Mercari this is bar three which I think is just sold at like um I think it's sold at like Macy's but it's this sleeveless oh, what are you Whoa. it's like a vesty layering piece it's interesting though so it's got these big slits on the side I could see like conductors wearing this, you know, like while they're like conducting. Um, it seems very like teachery to me, but it's like a very minimalist look. I like it. Um, I don't think I'm like sophisticated enough to pull it off, but I have to look up comps and stuff. I don't know how to price that. Here's the last thing, guys. This is a Columbia men's extra large fleece and it's black. It's very neutral. It's perfect for, you know, the fall and winter. 
just perfect to throw on when you're going outside. I'll probably list that at like $30. So that is my haul for today. We got through it despite the crying kid, despite the nose, despite all that stuff. Thank you guys for sticking with me. If you enjoyed my haul video, make sure that you hit the like button on your way out. Next week, I will be back with another haul of stuff not from this consignment store. So if you're sick of seeing stuff from this consignment store, you'll actually get to see stuff from a different consignment store, plus a Goodwill, plus Plato's Closet. So there is another great haul coming your way next week, as well as a what sold. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.